Hey there everyone! Welcome to my first video in our Collabween series. Today I'm going to show you how to do this bun and braids that resemble a spider, and an accompanying makeup look to go with it. For the hair portion, you're going to need lots of bobby pins and some serious hold hair gel. Begin with tangle free hair that is parted in the center. Isolate a triangle section of hair between your front part, a few inches back along the part, and the corner of your hairline right above your ear. Tie off the section to keep it separate for now, and isolate an identical section on the other side of your head. Bring this section toward the upper back of your head. This position here is where everything is going to emanate from, so make sure you find the very center of the back of your head. Split off one quarter of this hair and clip it in place with a duckbill or claw clip in that very center spot. Beyond this clip, English braid the hair. Braid to the ends, and by that I mean the absolute very ends, down to the very last strand of hair. Take a little bit of your hair gel and coat the end of the braid so that it holds without any elastics. Now take another quarter of hair from your larger section and do the same thing. Clip it to the center back of your head as well, meaning add it to that clip that's already there. Braid it to the ends and finish with hair gel. Make two more braids out of the rest of the hair section in this fashion so you end up with four small braids held in place by your clip. Do all of these steps again to the section of hair you've tied off on the other side of your head. Add each quarter of this section to the clip in the back, this time so that it's coming out of the other side of the clip. Braid to the ends and finish off with hair gel. Once you're done, you should have eight small braids, four on each side of the clip. Replace the clip now with two crossed bobby pins to keep all the braids in place. The next step is to position the spider legs. Take one braid from one side of the bobby pins and lay it over your head so that it's in a line about 45 degrees rotated away from your part. Two or three inches down the braid, make a fold to denote where the spider's leg will bend. Pin this point of the braid to your head, taking care to hide the bobby pin when you do. Make an identical leg with the braid from the other side of your head. For the second pair of legs, lay the braid just shy of 90 degrees rotated from the part. Again, fold the braid a few inches away from the body depending on where you'd like it, and pin. The third pair of legs will lay just below the 90 degree perpendicular to your part. Fold and pin at the legs joint. The final pair of legs won't be pinned, so just let them hang where they will. Finally, we will form the body of the spider by isolating a slice of hair just below the crossed bobby pins in the center of the legs. Spiral this hair up on top of these bobby pins in a ballet bun fashion, pinning every quarter circle or so to hold it all in place. When you reach the ends of the section, Tuck underneath the bun to hide them and pin.
And congratulations, you're done with this crazy style I've made up for you. You can wear it as a half up like this with the legs hanging free, or you can do what I prefer and gather everything into a low ponytail. For the makeup portion, I just want to warn you that I'm in no way qualified to be a YouTube makeup guru, so this is mostly meant to give you inspiration for a style rather than to show you how to do it really well. I'm normally not very good at makeup and I'm even worse in this video because it's actually kind of hard to do your makeup by looking at a camera. Who knew? <laughs> so if you want to learn better application techniques for this style, I can point you in the direction of some of my favorite YouTube makeup tutorialists. But anyways, I'm going to start this style by applying skin primer all over my face. Next I put some cover up product on my trouble acne spots and under eye area. Since you'll likely be wearing this out of the house, it's a good idea to spritz some setting spray over everything at this point, as well as after each other face step. Now I'll put on my liquid foundation for more even coverage, followed by more setting spray. If a couple acne spots are still noticeable, I'll put a second layer of cover up on them now and set it. Finally, brush your face with a light powder. We want a clean facial canvas for this style, so try to make your skin tone as even as possible. Now for the eyes. Start by applying primer all over your lids and under your brow. Find a white eyeshadow to use as a base and apply liberally all over the lid, brow area, and in a crescent shape underneath one of the eyes. Blend the edges of the white a tad with a blending brush. Take a gray shadow next and brush it onto the outer two thirds of your lid and crease, going a little bit above the outside of the lid area. Now find a black eyeshadow and apply it in a V shape in the outer corner of your eye. Fill in the V with more black and blend it upwards and outwards. Brush some gray along your lower lash line and some black along the outer third of the lower lashes. Apply more black and blend outward more as you see fit for your ideal smoky look. Wherever you decide for the black shadow to end, put some gray shadow on your blending brush and soften the outer edge of the black area for a more gradual color shift. Here's what the eye looks like so far. Next take a black liquid liner and give yourself a small winged line. This is where I start to embarrass myself since I can't draw a straight line, but you get the idea. With the same liner, we're going to draw the spider web. The nostril closest to your made up eye is going to be where the web is secured, so draw four straight lines to here from various points along your hairline that are evenly spaced. If the lion goes over your eye, draw on the lid as well. Now draw three levels of connecting lines between these. Make them arc downwards a little. Extend the web lines up into your hair so that there is no obvious end to it.
Make up the other eye very simply. Here I'm just lining it with a black pencil liner and putting a bit of nude shadow on it. Brush some black mascara onto both eyes. Finally, I'll put some finishing touches such as adding a dark pink lipstick and filling in my brows. And now you're completely done! If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. I will do three more installments of Collabween videos for each of the next three weekends, so stay tuned for more Halloween looks. See you guys!